welcome back to John's and Marie's Farm. Rachel here, and I am so excited to share this collaboration video with you. Kristen from the blog and YouTube channel Raising Nobles has just started another channel called Generation Acres Farm, and I'll link all this information in the box down below. But she is documenting their brand new 35 acre homestead. And I've been watching her videos and it is like giving me all the feels because it is taking me back to when we first bought our property a year and a half ago. All of the excitement and the dreams and the plans and it's so surreal to see her going through what we went through a year and a half ago and then seeing where we are today. So what's so neat is that she and her husband not only bought the property, but she bought it with the um, plan that her parents would be living there also. And that's something that we did as well. We bought actually 40 acres, sold four acres off to my husband's parents. And now we're living on the rest of the property, which is 36 acres. So it's so neat to see other people coming from where you started, following the same dreams you have, and just stepping out on faith and giving it a go. So head on over, check out their channel at the end of this video, and I know you'll be so blessed to be able to watch their journey. So our goal in doing this collaboration is to help you make a decision. When we bought our 36 acres is what we ended up with, no matter what, you're going to need a well, a septic, you're going to need power. You're going to need outbuildings. You're going to need a barn, a greenhouse, growing area. All those things, no matter what your dwelling is going to end up being, you're going to have to plan for all of that. You're going to have to budget for all of that. So I'm going to just put all that aside. If you want to know how much all of that costs and what we paid for it here in Georgia, I'll link the video up here and that'll give you kind of an estimate of um, maybe what you can expect. Hopefully for you, it's cheaper. I've had people comment and tell me that it's much cheaper where they live and I'm happy for you. <laughs> um, so let's just talk dwelling. What are you going to live in? You've just bought a piece of property, whether it's a quarter acre or a thousand acres. You've got a raw piece of land and you're not quite sure where to go from there. It's a huge decision. It's a financial investment. You're investing your time and your energy and you want it to be able to be something that isn't gonna to be too big, too small. Is it gonna have enough storage? Is it going to have a big enough kitchen? Are the bedrooms gonna be adequate with adequate closets? I agonized over this decision. My husband <laughs> seemed to have no problem, but I just could not get it together. It really comes down to two options. Are you going to build a house, either yourself or hire it out, have a contractor come in and do it, or are you going to have a mobile home or modular home brought in? Now, Kristen over at Generation Acres is going to go through the building process. So if you're interested in what it takes to buy a raw piece of land and build a house on it, Head, definitely head on over to that channel because she is going to be a wealth of information when it comes to that. But for us, what we decided to do was we went the mobile home route. And we did that for many reasons. Yes, I know that this can be a risky investment. I know that they don't, people believe they don't stand a chance in a storm or that they're not safe or they're toxic or they don't hold their home value. You know, all of these things that, I really agonized over in the beginning. I just, I wanted it to be right so bad that I just um, overanalyzed every, every decision and outcome and situation. So we went with a mobile home. Now you can buy a new mobile home for as little as $40,000 or as much as, you know, the sky's the limit on price. I'm sure they'd be happy to sell you an outrageously priced home. But again, that was not within the budget. Our number one goal with buying property in a home is to, in the end, be debt free. So we had to sit down and figure out what 
would get us there the quickest and what would be the best bang for our buck in the process of getting us there to debt free. And we kept coming back to a mobile home. Now I have a hundred percent confidence that my husband could have built our house. He could have subbed out what he couldn't have between him and my uncle and my father-in-law and everyone we know in our community. There was plenty of capable people that could have built a house for us, but we just did not feel that was God's plan for this situation. And at the end of the day, that is what we had to go with. So I began looking, I took to the internet and I put ads out in different groups asking if there was an older mobile that needed to be moved off the property or an older house that could be moved because believe it or not, you can move houses or a log cabin because that's my dream or anything out there that would kind of point me in a direction. And lo and behold, long story short, you can hear about it in my other videos, we found our mobile home. It's a 1995 16 by 80, comes out to 1200 square foot, single wide mobile home. And it was fresh out of 1995. <laughs> it was original everything, original carpet, original um, ceiling fans, original wallpaper, original cabinetry. And I prayed, I said, Lord, if this is the direction we're supposed to go with our money financially, open the door. If it's not, then don't even let the home inspector prove it to come into our county. And that's a big deal. It was coming from an outside county into our county and it had to be improved by the building inspector. And we were told he doesn't like mobile homes. He feels they lower property values. The chances of him improving a mobile home is gonna be really low. So I said, all right, well, if he doesn't, then it's not God's will and we're gonna go another direction or there's a better home out there for us. Wouldn't you know, he approved it. He needed a lot of love and that's okay. That's really what we wanted. We wanted to take something and make it better. So we paid to have it moved. We paid $10,000 for the home and here it is. Now I mentioned that we went with a used mobile home and the reason we did this was because of our location, number one. Having a brand new mobile home where we live or even a modular home brought in was really expensive. A lot of places didn't feel that they could get the trucks up the mountains and back down. So that ruled out a lot of options and a lot of places for us to be able to source a home from. Also pricing. And this is for our area. It might be completely and totally different where you live and that's where you have to do your research. So that's why we went with an older home and we didn't just dive into a newer home. We had a goal of staying around $50,000 for all of the utilities, the home and the renovation budget. And I'm happy to say we met that goal. All of the utilities, the cost of purchasing the home, the cost of moving the home, which cost us $5,500, and the cost of the renovation came in just at $50,000. We've renovated it from top to bottom, almost inside and out. We've got a few things left we still want to do with it, but we couldn't be more pleased with the home that the Lord has given us right now. Our main focus when it came to buying a home was the land. You can build a house, you can pull in a house, you can live in a camper, but you cannot make more land. And land was so important to us. We wanted a place that our family could come to that our children could one day build a home on and our grandchildren could come and not every piece of property is right for that. So to find one that met all of those criteria, that also had a pond and a creek and pasture and mountains and views, backs up to the United States Forest Service is really hard to do, especially in our area and especially for what we bought it for. So that being said, the first piece of advice I could give when you're buying a raw piece of land is what is your goal? 
So you have to just figure out for your exact situation, your exact goals, what is going to help you accomplish that. I can't tell you that. <laughs> I wish I could. I wish I could say, here's your perfect scenario. Here's your ticket. But it just doesn't work that way. For us, building a home was not an option. We didn't have the money. Even if we took out a loan, we were not willing to put ourselves under that financial burden of having an additional mortgage on the property. We didn't have the time. We were living in a camper with three small children. We didn't have unlimited resources. I mean, the list just went on and on and on. We were in a season of life where we were wanting to give more of ourselves in other areas. And it felt like trying to build a house at that time was going to take away from those things we wanted to give to. So we knew that a mobile home would number one, be the cheapest option for us. Number two, it would be the quickest option. And number three, we're still not convinced this is our forever home. We know this is our forever land, but we don't know how all of that's going to shake out. So by faith, we moved in a mobile home, we renovated it, we made it our own, and we are living happily ever after in the home that the Lord has blessed us with. And at the end of the day, isn't that really all that matters? My hope in recording this video is that it might trigger something inside to make you think that this is a viable option. They're not as unsafe as you think. They're not money pits like you think they could be. It all depends on the home. It depends. I mean, we've seen houses that completely were in worse shape than what we're living in. So it's all about your current situation. It's all about your end goals. And it's all about what is going to get you there. And I do believe living in a mobile home is a viable option. It is something that should be explored and entertained because they're great homes. They offer, they have a lot to offer and I feel like they have a bad reputation. So if you watch this video and you're like, yeah, it's not for me, definitely check out Kristen's channel. They're meeting with the architect, got the ball rolling, things are happening, things are moving, they picked out their home site, all that fun stuff. I wish I could have filmed from the very beginning. I sort of jumped into YouTube in the middle of our renovation and really wish I could have taken you all along for you know some of the before and afters with the land because at the end of the day, for us, that was all it was about. For our financial situation, and the season of life that we're in, to be able to afford the land, we had to cut corners on some things. And for us, it was the house. We're all in different situations. And I just really want to encourage you to stop and take the time, write out your goals. I'm, me and my husband, we are a firm believer in writing it out. Write out your goals. Write out what you want to do or where you want to be write out what you want. I want a house with hardwood floors and I want this many bedrooms and this much square footage. Write it all out and work towards those goals and sit down and think, well, be living in a camper is what I have to do right now. But I know at the end of all of this, it's going to get me to where I'm supposed to be. If you're here and you're new to Johnson Branch Farm, I wanna take a moment to welcome you and thank you for coming to our channel. By watching and subscribing to our channel, you are helping us live our dreams and um, you're supporting what the Lord has called us to do here. And I'm just so thrilled that people would take the time out of their day to encourage us and to um, be with us along the way. So thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for liking this video. And if you have any other questions or any other comments, leave them in the um, comment box below. I do my best to answer them and check out my other videos. I have other videos showing a lot of before and after footage and um, another video showing a year later. Here we are. We're coming up to a year. We didn't even get to spend Christmas in this house last year. We spent it in the camper and a year later, would we do it all again? Would we have bought the land and moved the house and we are excited to see where the next year is going to take us. I hope you all are blessed. I hope you all have a great day. Um, thank you for subscribing to this channel. Please go check out Kristen at Generation Acres Farm. I truly believe you are going to enjoy what she's got going on over there.
Thank you, and we'll see you on the next video.